Hey Bookworms! So today I'm going to be doing a review of The Accidental Wife by Rowan Coleman and this was actually one of the books that I bought a little while ago but I wasn't actually that psyched to read it and I probably wouldn't have read it if I didn't put it out of my TBR jar so I guess the TBR jar did its job and made me read a book that I probably wouldn't have read otherwise. I'd probably give this book 3 out of 5 stars and it's basically about two characters, Catherine and Alison, who are best friends when they are teenagers. And basically Catherine got a boyfriend called Mark and Alison ran away with him. She was sleeping with Mark behind Catherine's back and ran away with him and started a new life, had three kids. Now Catherine, also married, she married a character called Jeremy? Jimmy. It was Jimmy. But yeah, she married Jimmy and had two kids of her own but could never love him fully because she was still in love with Mark. Now both characters kind of felt that they were living the wrong life because Catherine still felt that she should be with Mark and um, Alison didn't love Mark anymore and started to think maybe she shouldn't have done it and she kind of went back to Farmington which is where they kind of grew up and all encountered each other again and Alison was a bit like maybe if I let Catherine stay with Mark then I would have been with Jimmy because she had a crush on Jimmy for years and she was like maybe if I did marry Mark I would have ended up with Jimmy and I would be happy right now. And I'm not even entirely sure what happens other than that apart from a story basically about them encountering each other again and Jimmy trying to make Catherine love him and I'm not actually sure it's quite a big book. It's like 400 odd pages. Yeah so it's 421 pages. And I'm not even entirely sure what happens. It's just one of those books that just kind of babbles on a little bit, actually. But it's like, it's good babble. Not not boring babble. It's it's entertaining babble. It's kind of written in a stereotypical chit-lit fashion. The characters don't really have that much development, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of... They get developed a little bit, but I don't really feel like I know the characters beyond their surface appearances and beyond the way that they kind of act around sort of strangers. I don't really feel like I know the in-depths of their character or their mind the way that I kind of feel like I should know a character by the end of the time I finish a book. Um, so yeah, the character development is not actually that great. I did move out of the way, give my dog some space to get down because he wants to. There we go. But yeah, the character development is not that great, but it's a good book overall, I think. It's not amazing, hence only three stars, but that's pretty much all I have to say about this book actually, it's not its not a very long review, I'm sorry guys, but that's literally, I can't think of anything else to say, so I guess I'll see you guys soon. Bye.